Hello and welcome to Broken Entertainment. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about why I am trying to get published, why I'm becoming an author, and why to me it's more important now than it ever has been, even though it's been a dream of mine since as far back as I can remember. Basically, I've always loved writing. I love creating settings, I love creating alien worlds, alien races, cultures, new technologies. You know, I was always a sci-fi writer first. I started fantasy writing for the first time about a year ago as I work on my fantasy novel. And the first thing that really propelled me to, to go from, I really like writing, to I want to be an author, is... I used to read Battletech novels all the time, uh, the, the Pern novels all the time, and outside of those, I would often go into a bookstore, and it still happens today, I'll go into a bookstore, look around, go to the sci-fi fantasy section, and I see a lot of dead people, and not a whole lot of new authors, and, and I know there are a lot of new authors and a lot of younger authors, but mostly what you see is what the bookstores believe are going to sell. And I, I don't fault them for that, but for the longest time that was really your only in, is you had to have a publisher agree to sell your book, they had to get it in bookstores, and the bookstore actually had to care enough to put it on the shelf or to buy it. And most of the time you go there and sci-fi and fantasy is full of possibilities, but you go to the bookshelves and there's like four rows. And now it's it's probably worse than ever. There's like four rows of sci-fi books, sci-fi fantasy books, and half of that's franchises. Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, so on and so forth. Video game franchises. Uh... Probably about of half of what remains is dead people, and you know, I don't don't mean that as disrespect to the uh, great sci-fi and fantasy authors that have come before us, but they're not writing anything new, obviously. And I think it should be dominated by newer authors. It should be new ideas pushing forward, pushing the envelope forward of of what is possible of the type of stories that we tell in science fiction and fantasy. And it's not really something that you see very often. And it just, it bothered me. And it still bothers me, where I'm like, why is there nothing here? You know, outside of, okay, Star Trek, Star Wars, whatever, you know, those can be good reads, fine. But they're not really doing anything new in terms of storytelling, and they're not really putting authors out there who people haven't heard of before, for the most part. Most of those authors are uh, freelance writers, and they've probably been around the business for a while, a lot of them. And now, we live in an age where the bookstore increasingly doesn't matter. And that kind of sucks, because I like bookstores. I like to go in and look at books, buy books physically. I don't. I, I can't stand reading e-books. I'm sorry. Uh, I do like audiobooks a lot. But audiobooks are taking off. Self-publishing is taking off. And to me, it's a great time to be an indie creator. And we're really facing a absolute revolution in our entertainment. The likes of which... I don't know if we've seen anything like it before. As Hollywood and the creative entities that we've all looked to for so long make themselves increasingly distant from the rest of us, totally isolated in their worldview, and insert politics and political correctness into their movies and their comic books, and so on. You get the rise of 
indie creators who are saying, no, I just want a good story. And since they're not seeing one, they go and make one. And that's where I'm sitting, personally. Where I've gone from, this is bothering me, I want to get my book on the shelves, to... I want entertainment to be good, so I'm going to try to put my work on the shelves. Probably the digital shelves. Um, you know, I, I will have physical books printed by probably Amazon as one of the services that will print a book because they actually will print on demand rather than charging you a big fee to print out X number of books. And then they'll do the fulfillment and everything. And I'm really looking forward to that process, to getting there. You know, I'm still editing. I'm still sending out to beta readers. But the more we put out there, the more indie creators will start to take off. And the more they start to take off, the less the people that ignore us and tell us how to live will actually matter in entertainment. And I don't know how long it's going to take for the traditional media to be overtaken, uh, but I don't think it's as long as they would like to believe. I think 10 years, maybe. Because they're double, they seem to be doubling and tripling down and everything, and, and movie after movie after movie is just collapsing. Uh, the comic book industry is falling apart for the same reasons. You know, and, and as that falls apart, you get indie comics coming in, and you get anime coming in and filling that void. They're not going to get it back. You know, look at the front page of Bounding Into Comics. You have a Star Wars writer mocking fans. Yeah, are you kidding me? It's And this stuff isn't even unusual anymore. And then you get this down here about racism. And you've got CD Projekt Red creating a game that has fallen apart. And then bowing down to China. It's And this is just today. You know, DC Comics is falling apart. They're probably going to get shut down. Marvel Comics may not be that far behind. Disney is falling apart. And what are they producing? They're producing overly political stuff. And when they're not producing overly political stuff, they're producing remakes and reboots and threequels. The, for the first time in a long time, the opening is there for those of us who want to create something to step out and put it out there. Whether it turns out to be gold or whether it's not very good, that's not the point. The point is we can do it, and we should, and, and that's where I am right now. I'm working on, I have my sci-fi book that's getting ready to go to beta readers. Its sequel is already written, the first draft. I have the fantasy novel that I'm working on now. I've got a superhero novel that I'm going to do after that. You know, I have lots of ideas. I want to put them out there. And you know, hopefully people will like them and find them entertaining. But this reliance on others to create our media who are letting us down, we just we have to take this opportunity that's presented itself to us because nothing lasts forever. Who knows how long the uh, the window for this opportunity to be open, but there's a real chance to create a new wave of people to come in and inspire others. And when I started writing, what inspired me was Gene Roddenberry and George Lucas. I deeply respected Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek, and I deeply respected... Star Wars as a means of of not saying how can we limit ourselves but saying how can we take the limits off of ourselves and off of our imagination 
and put something really fun and entertaining out there. And they're two dis- different genres. Star Wars really is science fantasy, and Star Trek is, is more of a uh, science fiction. Not quite hard science fiction, but it's close. And the more... I As I grew up, the more I saw these movies, then I saw Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg's early great work, and all it did was inspire me to make new things. And now, I'm having to get that inspiration from myself, I'm having to get that inspiration from other indie creators, from people like Brandon Sanderson. Because I don't get anything from Hollywood anymore. Those those great visionary creators, Gene Roddenberry, George Lucas, Spielberg in his early days, they're not around anymore. George Lucas doesn't really care. He's not creating anything new. He gave up on Star Wars. Gene Roddenberry's dead. Steven Spielberg's become an establishment guy. You know, who can we turn to and say, oh, that's inspiring. That inspires me to make something new. To think and imagine and, and to consider the world in new ways. There's there's nothing coming out. But instead of sitting on the, the, the corpses of our beloved franchises and crying, we need to move forward. And that's really what's driving me now, is I want to move forward. I want to move things forward. I'm, I'm going to be upset about Wonder Woman, but then i got to move on. And I'm going to look at the old stuff, and I'm going to enjoy it as long as I can. And take inspiration still from the old stuff. But now I have to get the inspiration from myself. And others like me, and those of our entertainers and creators that are out there that are still doing things that actually entertain and inspire, like Brandon Sanderson, like Games Workshop. And that's in one way, it's painful to say that, that that time of hope and inspiration in entertainment is gone. But in another way, it's great because it's not our only option anymore. So to me, if you're at all interested in creating your own work, get out there and start. It's it's a long process. It's a hard process but it's absolutely worth doing. And you never know, you might be the person that someone reads 10 years from now and goes, oh, wow. And gets a lot of hope and inspiration out of it. And says, I want to do something like that. Because we can't let that die. When that spark dies when one generation no longer inspires the next that's when civilizations become stagnant and eventually collapse you know it fortunately I don't think we're anywhere near that but we do. We need to get our, our work out there. We need to step forward because not everyone can and not everyone will. But everybody needs something to read or to watch or to listen to and be inspired or taught something or have their mind open to new possibilities in some way. Um, 
so that's that's my drive and my motivation and I'm going to start talking more about what I'm writing, what I'm working on um and less about what's going on with our properties now and I'm not going to abandon that but I'm kind of done with it. You know, they took away the comics They've taken away our heroes, but we can make new ones. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time. Thanks.